In fact, I always thought that Pikachu was something that I wasn't supposed to do, you know, like an invasion of privacy. Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 8 of Clay's Corner. Although I guess technically today it should be Clay's middle of his great room, because as you can see, we are in the middle of some home renovations. We are painting for the first time in 12 years. So that's pretty exciting. Today, I want to talk about the craze, the app, the game that is sweeping certain parts of our globe. And that of course is Pokemon Go. I don't get it. I don't want to get it. I don't care for it. I'm not gonna try it. So for me, it is Pokemon No. If somehow this is the first time that you're hearing about Pokemon Go, it is basically an app that is based on the Nintendo owned franchise that came into popularity in the late 90s. Thanks to my buddy Richard Pinto for the awesome MS Paint job. These fictional characters are called Pokemon and the humans that track them down are called Pokemon Trainers. And in simple terms, Pokemon Go basically uses your GPS on your phone to track where you are, when you are in that place. It makes Pokemon basically appear around you so you can go and catch them. And the genre of game is called augmented reality in that it's obviously a, a fictional game, but it includes elements of real life. Thus, your reality is augmented, hence the name. Now before you call me a crusty old man or a party pooper or a guy living in the dark ages, a couple of qualifications here. Number one, I never got into the Pokemon fad back in the late 90s when it came out. In fact, I always thought that Pikachu was something that I wasn't supposed to do, you know, like an invasion of privacy. And number two, I have been known to be slower to adapt to newer things. Snapchat being a good example that's recent. I still have no clue what I'm doing with that thing. And I do realize that there are certain benefits to playing this game. It's fun and it can make people happy. It can actually get you some exercise, force you to get off your butt, get off the couch and go outside for a walk or a jog or a run in an effort to find these Pokemon characters. Some would argue that it increases your social skills and helps you meet new people. Others will say it helps your sense of geography or how to read a map. And I've even had a few people say to me that it's great for evangelization. They've seen people wandering around their church grounds looking for a Pokemon. So it might be a great way to evangelize and meet new people and invite them to our church or to our parish. But all those things, even added up, don't tip the scale back from Pokemon No to Pokemon Go. And I'm not even talking about the crazy negative stuff that we've been hearing. In fact, one teenage girl in the States stumbled upon a dead body while looking for these characters. In another case, some players were actually accosted by some robbers who were waiting for them at a Pokestop. See, even Pokestop doesn't sound right. So here are three reasons why for me, it's Pokemon No. Number one, do we need yet another reason to be consumed by our phones? I'm not gonna get into a whole song and dance here. Trust me, it's for the benefit of all you viewers. Of how we're addicted to social media, pot, meat, kettle, and how social media is helping to replace our genuine in-person relationships with fabricated ones online. And I've heard people say, well, it's a great way for families to go out together or friends or even youth groups to go out together and play this game together. But still, you're walking around engrossed and looking in your phones and maybe not interacting as well as you could if your phone was in your pocket. And I've seen many pictures and videos of groups of people, dozens of people in fact, standing around all on their phones trying to catch Pokemon. Just imagine if they were actually talking to each other. Wow, imagine that. Not even looking at your phone, but rather actively engaging in conversation with the people that you're with. Second, it's not safe. And you don't need an augmented reality app to be oblivious when you're walking on the sidewalk or crossing an intersection. And I've seen people on the sidewalk, in intersections, walking on the streets, walking on the pier in Steveston, so engrossed in their phones that they trip, they bump into people, they bump into inanimate objects. And one of my favorite things is to get bumped into. Wait a sec, that doesn't sound so good. And my reply is always, look up or heads up. To me, it's a matter of respect. Respect for your surroundings, respect to the people that you're around, whether you're with them or not, and respect for those people's safety. And lastly, I think it's a big waste of time. Of course, this is coming from the guy who makes Canucks parody videos for fun. I guess you could say the same for a lot of social media or a lot of video games, but I can think of way more fun things to do than to throw pokeballs at objects. Ooh, that doesn't sound so good either. So there you have it. My quick take on the new Pokemon Go app. I would love to hear your feedback. Tell me if you agree with me. Tell me if you disagree with me. 
Tell me if you want to beat me up, but whatever you do, put it in the comments below, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube. I love to read what you have to say. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Gotta catch them all? I don't think so. See you next time in the corner. God bless.